Uh, what does the smoke do to the bees? Um, the smoke takes away the pheromone yeah. of the queen. Oh, right. So then they become confused or what? They become a bit lost, so they, they go onto the, the honeycomb and eat yeah. honey. Oh, right. So they leave become me alone. docile. <laughs> right. well, they get prepared, it's a panic yeah. for them, you see. It's a oh. panic. It's like to stock up an energy before they fly away or something. Well, Is that the idea? Well, because they've lost. Because um, the whole thing runs around the Queen and the pheromone of the Queen is so important, you take that away, mm -hmm. it's a panic situation for them. So therefore they're taking on honey because it's panic and they think, right, I've got three days of yeah. reserve. Yeah. Okay, okay. Pure survival. And this is lavender pellets. Okay, we're from lavender bushes. Yeah, well, when they distill the lavender, we, they get this left over. Mm -hmm. And that just consumes a bit slower than pine needles. Pine needles. Mm -hmm. Do you make the pellets yourself? No, no, I buy them. <laughs> I do actually use, um, when they've done the olive oil, the dish, the dish yeah. yeah. The dish Not the pressing, no. When, they, when it's pressed, you left yeah. all the, all yeah. the bits that's yeah. left. Mm -hmm. I can burn that okay. when it's dried out. Okay. That works. I'll just put that out. Used to uh, the French being so little, at least in Holland I'm uh, short. That's a small suit. I keep my arm in my sleevey. <laughs> cool. There we go. There's our cameraman getting all prepped. It's a very important yeah. thing to, um, yeah. to cool down the, f the smoker. So when it's up and smoking, this will cool it down. Okay. I think, so now I've got thick okay. cold smoke, which is perfect. Well. Is that uh, stainless steel wire? Um, I usually use stainless that isn't actually. <laughs> I used to usually use it, but I didn't bring it up with this old one. Because uh, that would then remain. Well, once it, it once they've rebuilt the whole thing, I can yeah. take it off, but I okay. don't leave them in this. I try okay, and get it off them. Because it's, it's messy, it's difficult to inspect the hive when they're. Um, very good for the, the prostate. Okay. Yeah. Um, and for people on chemotherapy, yeah. that gets away the secondary effects. Okay. Wow. So it's got quite a few virtues. Mm -hmm. The buzzing sound is just—is that just the, the sound of their wings? Okay. Yeah.
It will get nasty when I get down to the babies. Okay. Which will be very soon. Yeah. actually sting me before she died. Yeah. There's there's a sting there, I don't know if you can see that. Wow. Yeah. So it's just to get it out. Yeah. Get it out. Can you see it? Yeah. And that's the pocket of venom that came out with it. And obviously okay. pollen because I squashed it when I when she stung me. So this is just um, this is a honeycomb with just honey in it. So this is very clear honey, so it's more than likely rosemary honey. The pollen in the flower makes a difference as to whether it's clear honey or... Yeah, it's, the rosemary honey is very clear. And you can see why this, this is a messy job. You see, you know, they're not, you know, that's probably a younger bee, so they don't, they don't sting. It's only the old bees that sting. So the old guys are out foraging, or? Well, there'd be some print coming back, those are the ones that sting. Oh. Right now, it might be the time to put the mask on, <laughs> because, you know. Yeah, please. <laughs> don't really want to get that. Deformed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're obviously not allergic to bees. To bee stings. No, I wouldn't be doing this job if I was. And I, I don't really that mind getting stung. Actually, it's not a problem. It's not. Of course, it's very fragile. And now we've got pollen. You can see the different colours of pollen. You've got orange, yellow.
So there you go, that's the support. Now we've got babies in there, this is why they're getting more aggressive. Now you've got babies here. This is all being laid with eggs. So the queen might be about... She's normally just twice the size or three times Well, she's a bit bigger, yeah. Are they going into the box anyway now? Sorry? Are they, they seem to be going into the box. So what, what the box? Into the what? They seem into to be box. going into the box. Oh, the box. Yeah. Um, well, they haven't got much choice at the moment. They stay with the babies, you see. They won't, okay. they won't abandon the babies. I was looking for the Queen. Yeah. It 
it's so fragile, I don't know. Now, earlier we saw a bit of a few babies, now here, these are obviously older babies because they've closed off the holes. Okay. So they're, they're all, they're probably about, well you can see there's, there's baby larves. And the further you go out, mm -hmm. you actually get eggs. I don't know if you can see the white spots at the end of these ones here. They're actually the eggs that the queen is actually laying. Okay. So she's got to be here somewhere. Oh, she's here somewhere. Now they're beating their wings because it's a change of place and they're going to... They're now going to give this frame its... their, their, their pheromone, their odour. Oh right, is that how they do it? Well, this is why they're all up here beating their wings. Can you see him? Yeah. See how much bigger he is? He's got big wings, big eyes. And he's there for one thing. Yeah? For the queen. Yes. Can <laughs> he? <laughs> That's too short. How cool is this? Hello, lady. So does the queen just go from one uh, hemicrome to the other? Yeah, just lays eggs all day, all night. Well, I'm guessing the queen's on this one because there's a lot of bees around you suddenly. Sorry? Is the queen on this one because there's a lot of bees around you now? Obviously. No. Okay. But maybe I got her, I don't know. They've probably gone back onto that comb there, so maybe she's still... Oh, she, she thinks she's probably still up there. Let's do it that later on. Okay, there's no babies in there, so that's good. I don't like, um... oh, come on. <laughs> it's not serious. I'm in my ears, I don't like that either. <laughs> yeah, <for> uh. <laughs> they heard me, you see. <laughs>
Now they're bigger cells. Now they, she's gonna, probably going to lay male, oh, right. male eggs in there. They're How bigger. do they know? She's got two um, on her front legs. On her front legs, she's got two. Um, Spades. Gata, you got them. Got two arms. Yes. And yes. She will measure the hole okay. with her arms, and then she will decide. She can decide what she decides. Wow. Pretty cool. She's it, she's, she might be up there still. I'm going to go and put that, get rid of all that bee wax up there. And, uh... my face. Jenny. So I left them like the young babies. So with, with the young babies that, that are left, those those eggs I showed you, mm -hmm. the young young bees will, mm -hmm. will create the queen. Okay. Well, the queen. Mm -hmm. nice is to get those hives up to where the nest was. Yes. yes. So they go back there. Yeah. If I leave it there, they might start if the queen's again. up there, yeah. that is going to be the complication.
Can't get fresher than that. You can't get fresher than that. Wow. That's rosemary. Oh, that is amazing. And um, mm. then you've got the pollen, you want to try that as well. For me. Mm. Oh wow, that is incredible. Pollen. Mm. Right. Mm. That's incredible. Distinctive taste. Wow, completely different, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, what is the honeycomb itself? What's it made of? It's beeswax. So how do they produce it? They have a gland mm -hmm. and shoots. They just. It's a certain moment where they make that. And they have a certain amount of pollen and everything's perfect. They can. They just make uh, it's a, it's a, I mean, they, they've made the holiness. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. It's a, you know, it's a very, very complicated insect. It just does so many things. You know, just building that is the one thing, isn't it? And how perfect it's amazing. is that? <coughs> These ones are <coughs> bigger. Bigger than those ones. Yeah, you can see the difference. Because there, there she's preparing. That's ouvrier. That's workers. And that is uh, the males. But that is actually empty at the moment. But they prepare it. Hmm. Will the hive ever stop growing? Yes. Yeah, there is a limit to how big it can get. Oh, yeah. It all depends on, on the queen, how old she is, what her, how dynamic mm -hmm. she is, and um, what's about. You know, because here in June it's a bit dry, there's not much going on, they will survive, but they will, the whole thing will slow down. He thinks you had the other pubs as kids, and like, wow! Take it for granted. Mm. Wow, First time you've ever been with these, Yeah. It's amazing, huh? Stunning, it's incredible. We thought you have to avoid them because they're going to sting you and swarm around you, but no. in fact. Bees are very, very gentle. You know, I mean, okay, they started to attack me. My, look at my, thing, my, my little finger got, got quite a good kicking yeah. actually. Uh. I've got quite a few stings in that one there, so it's all kind of bloated, but it will, it will go down in about an hour. So yeah, you can see it, got, got a bit of a kicking. But that's only because I had to take the comb and there yeah. were bees in the hand, yeah. they, they were trapped, they, they, were weren't, squished, yeah. Yeah, they weren't stinging me because they were defending, they were just stinging because they were squashed. Yeah. That's a natural reaction. Um, because a bee does die after it's stung properly. Yeah. So I think they kind of know this, don't they? That if well, they sting, they'll... Uh... Only in, normally, only old bees sting when they come yes. to the end of 30 days. Yeah. Oh, really? So they, you know, at the end of the day, they, that's, they're the ones that sting. But there, because I've squashed the bees against them, they might have been young ones, but it's probably old ones that stung them. But now, you know, it's a good, good um, attitude. You know, they're not, uh, some hives you can't get anywhere near them. Really? Uh, the bees are obviously selection bees, I should thought. Why do you say selection bees? Well, somebody, well, there's probably a beekeeper in the area who creates his own colonies and mm -hmm. creates his own selection. So if, when he does that, he won't. Um, he, will, he will try not to have a, aggressive bees. Okay. He will try and introduce uh, docile, calm bees. This is what's happened here. Yeah. So they congregate outside the hive. They spend the day, the night, the day and the night there. Mm -hmm. And in between that time and the following morning, there will be young bees that will go out and find the place to go and stay. Okay. So when that swarmed, mm -hmm. well, that's when that came out. That came out. That would, that would like get on that, a tree. Yes. Yeah. And the queen will be in the middle. Yeah. And the scouts will go out and find somewhere, the communication is made, yeah. and between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock next day, usually, they go to their new Incredible. place. Incredible. And once again, mm -hmm. when she leaves, because there are young bees mm -hmm. and there are young baby larvae, mm -hmm. then they will create queen, a, a new queen. Okay. Which is why I've done two boxes, mm -hmm. and in each box there is With young kudan, young okay. babies. So whichever one hasn't got the queen mm -hmm. will make a well, queen. Get a queen yeah. okay. And if they don't make a queen, I should give them one. Okay. Because you breed queens. Yeah. 
Okay. Greens, greens. Green. <laughs> green, green, green. <laughs> the green, greens as well. Yeah, you can see them walking in there now. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's cute. Sting. Sting. And she's going to fly off and leave her sting in there. Give her a hand, I'm afraid. Hold on.